welcome to my channel my name is wolo i want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel it's been a wonderful year for me um and i am so grateful for everyone who have subscribed and have seen my videos i'm also grateful for everybody anyone who has used my tips and shared my videos and you know kind of informed one person or the other on the various pathways of immigrating to canada i want to say thank you to you it's been a wonderful year and it's 12 days to christmas that's why i'm putting this on because i intend to do a daily video up till christmas day i hope i hope i have the strength and i'll also try to respond to all the emails pending emails um so many things have been overwhelming for me this period it's christmas season and you all know how it is like wherever you are in africa i know it is buzzing so many parties so many christmas parties and all that same thing in canada as well everywhere is buzzing christmas lights everywhere is white and all that but anyway that's by the way i have a major update on one of the communities for the rural and northern immigration pilot and that is for brandon so brandon have started posting job offers on the website job offers that are eligible for the rural and northern immigration pilot and presently they have eight job offers on their website and i'll be showing you the details on how you can apply and um, try to get one of those jobs if you know your occupation is among the ones listed try as much as possible to start applying for those jobs and um, you know don't give up hope keep your fingers crossed and anything could happen you can be in Canada just like me so I'll be showing you shortly on the branding website what to do and how to apply and of course you know the requirement is that you must have written your IELTS and you must have evaluated your credentials. I don't know, people keep asking me this question all the time. For Canada immigration, anything that requires immigrating to Canada, you just have to write the IELTS. You have to also evaluate your credential, no matter what stream you are coming through except you're coming as a visitor but even if you come as a visitor and convert your visiting uh, visa to a work permit that is when you get a job as long as you want to be a permanent resident of canada you have to evaluate your credentials and you have to write the ilts exams or the CELPIP or the tcf there is no um, shortcut around it there is no way you can avoid it you just have to do those two things to um you know immigrate fully and become a permanent resident of canada so that's by the way i'll be showing you shortly on the brandon website the jobs that are available and how you can start applying so that you can get a community recommendation and be on your way to canada to get started on the website that advertises the job offers eligible for the rural and northern immigration pilot you will go to this website which is www.notstarats.com slash brandon dash rnip this is the website here i'll be leaving the link in the description box and then when you scroll down you'll find eight job opportunities currently available for people to apply you have drafting technician you have industrial meat cutter you have a podiatrist you have pork production technician you have production worker you have sanitation worker you have team lead technical electrical instrumentation and control you have technical sales electrical instrumentation process automation so um, if you click on any one of them you will find the details just like this one and you will also see the knock code so the knock is 2133 and it's a professional occupation you can see the requirements you need a clb level 5 or higher you need a bachelor's degree in electrical or electronics engineering and it's saying licensing by a provincial or territorial association of professional engineers is required to approve engineering drawings and reports to practice as a professional engineer so if you're a professional engineer and you've already started the licensing process to get your PH, then you can go ahead you can see the job description as well and yeah so this is one example of the job opportunity that is available for the rural another immigration pilot in brandon
to get details of the community recommendation evaluation criteria this is the page you go to and you can see that um, even the rural and immigration pilot allocate points um, before they can give a community recommendation so it's not just getting the job offer getting the job offer is one step the second step is getting a community recommendation where you have to be allocated points and if you have a language ability that is above the recommended levels for rnip you get 15 points if your spouse has um the language level as well your spouse is awarded eight points and then for people who completed their post-secondary in brandon they also get points and if their spouse also completed a post-secondary education in brandon they get five points basically everything is more like points and should be able to meet the minimum threshold of points required for a community evaluation so if you have the time you scroll through this page and read where and where you can get points from if you even have a connection a sibling living in the community in any of the communities close to brandon you also get points for that or if you have a friend you also get points for that yeah if you have the time you can come to this page to get details on the community recommendation evaluation criteria the timelines on the application process is also listed here and um when the applicant gets a job offer the next thing is to submit the application for a community recommendation and within 30 to 45 days you should be able to get a decision on the community recommendation so you take your time to look at this timeline and know how long it's going to take between when you get a job offer to a committee recommendation to submitting your application for a permanent resident status and also applying for a temporary work permit at the same time when you're applying for a permanent resident status to when ircc will make a final decision on your application so you can come to this page here to um see the timelines and prepare yourself to start applying for job opportunities i'll also be leaving the link of this on the description box of this video so that you can see if it is something that you should take advantage of i encourage you to take your time to go through this website go through all the links the brandon rnip the rnip employer process rnip applicant process rnip app applicant checklist rnip community criteria rnip brandon boundaries Brandon RNIP program timeline and immigration frequently asked questions Brandon RNIP jobs take your time to go through all these links and get more information from them when you succeed at getting a community recommendation under the rural and northern immigration pilot to submit a full application you have to go to the government of canada web page to get the details on how to submit a full application and you will find information here on this web page i'll be leaving the link of the web page on the description box of this video you will get details on the instruction guide the document checklist and the documents you also need to submit alongside your community recommendation so these are the documents you need to fill out you have to send all these documents through korea to the immigration refugees and citizenship canada rural and under immigration pilot program centralized intake office sydney nova scotia so it's a paper-based application which means you have to fill all the forms print them out and send the application via korea to the address uh, listed below and the processing timeline is uh, 12 months and hopefully within 12 months you should be in Canada. First of all, through a temporary work permit, you will already be working with the employer and then while your permanent residence application is also ongoing and within 12 months you should be able to get your permanent resident status in Canada. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.